All right, Brian, we've marked for the rough opening for a new door. When you open the door, you'll actually see this angle right here, and this represents our rafter. A rough opening is going to be cut with square corners. Now we'll just cut the baseboard out. Now I'm just going to cut these boards out and knock them out with my hammer. So Tommy, we're cutting out a stud here. Do we have to worry about uh, bracing it? Well, this is a gable wall, so there's a main rafter right up there. But look, at there's no weight on that at all. So we'll just put a two by up there as a nailer. Now I want to follow the angle of the rafter right here. Now before we put the door in, the first thing I want to do is I want to extend this subfloor. But before I do that, I have to add some structure. So I've cut three blocks. One for the right side, for the middle, and the left. And I'll tack them in place first. On top of the blocks, I'm going to put a 2x4 plate. Now I want to do the header. Now we're ready to set your old door into a brand new jam. I picked up this jam at the mill shop. This is a single rabbited jam. It's made of pine. I picked up a left and a right side and a header. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to set the jam up and put the door in it so I can get my spacing across the top and on this side so I can mark for our hinges. I'm going to mark the top and the bottom of each one of the hinges. All right, Brian, let's lift the door out of the jam. Now I have to mortise out for our hinges. What I did is I took a piece of two by six and I made a jig. And that jig will fit right on the rabbit like that. And now I'm just gonna line up my marks and tack it in place. Now I'm gonna take my router with the templating bit. There's a bearing right here. I can ride it right around the inside of my template and cut a perfect mortise. Now I want to square up each corner. Now we'll move down to the second hinge. And now we screw the head jam into the side jam. Okay, I want to put a couple of three quarter inch filler strips on top of my two by four. And then I'm going to lay my oak thresh hole on top of that. Now I want to check my door jam for plumb this way. So I'm going to put my level on the hinges and check it. And it's perfect. All right, now I got to true it up this way. It looks pretty good, so I can put a shim down here. With the hinge side of the door all plumbed and secured, I like to hang the door before we do the other side. Okay, good. Now I want to check the door space between the jam and the door, and I want to make sure that it's even all the way down. All right, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. Looks pretty good down the bottom. About the same as the top. And now I'll just infill the middle. That looks pretty good right there. Now, Brian, we want to trim out your closet and would like to match your existing trim in your house. So I went down to a mill shop and I bought this molding off the shelf. All right, Brian, mark the baseboard. Okay, now we're going to cut it with our oscillating saw. Well, what do you think? It looks great.